From a pig heart being successfully transplanted into a human to being able to redirect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth, there have been all manner of weird and wonderful scientific discoveries in 2022. They include the human genome finally being mapped after two decades, the unearthing of Africa's oldest known dinosaur, and the release of the first ever image of a supermassive black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. There was also the alarming discovery that microplastics are everywhere, including in us, and the hugely anticipated first images from the world's most powerful space telescope, James Webb, which will peer back to the dawn of the universe. But first take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more amazing stories. Pig Organ Transplant This year began with a bang scientifically when just a week into it, a dying man became the first patient in the world to get a heart transplant from a genetically modified pig. Terminal heart disease sufferer David Bennett underwent the nine-hour experimental procedure at the University of Maryland Medical Center in Baltimore. Surgeons used a heart taken from a pig that had undergone gene editing to make it less likely that his body's immune system would reject the organ. Mr. Bennett survived initially, but his condition began to deteriorate two months later, and he passed away at the age of 57. He said he knew the procedure was a shot in the dark and was ineligible for a human transplant and would have died without it. Despite what ultimately happened, doctors nevertheless called the procedure a watershed event for the world of medicine. The most complete baby woolly mammoth. It looks a bit like a mummified little elephant, but this creature below is actually an extremely well-preserved baby mammoth that lived more than 30,000 years ago. It was discovered by gold miners in Yukon, Canada in June. The Yukon government said it was the most complete mummified mammoth found in North America and only the second such find in the world. The calf, named Nunchorga, meaning big baby animal in the Han language, was frozen in permafrost, resulting in its remains being mummified. Images show its skin still intact with bits of hair clinging to the body. A further analysis revealed the calf is female and lived alongside wild horses, cave lions and giant steppe bison that once roamed Yukon thousands of years ago. Lab-grown brain cells learn to play video game. Classic table tennis-themed video game Pong was groundbreaking and hugely popular when it was released in 1972. Fast forward 50 years and the game has been mastered by something altogether more remarkable. That's because human brain cells grown in a lab have been shown to be able to move a paddle vertically across the screen to hit the ball. Researchers from Melbourne-based startup Cortical Labs proved for the first time that 800,000 brain cells can perform goal-directed tasks, in this case, Pong. The findings suggest that even brain cells in a petri dish can exhibit inherent intelligence, modifying their behavior over time. This new capacity to teach cell structures to perform a task in which they exhibit sentience by controlling the paddle to return the ball via sensing opens up new discovery possibilities which will have far-reaching consequences for technology, health and society, said Dr. Adil Razi, an author of the study. He continued to say, We know our brains have the evolutionary advantage of being tuned over hundreds of millions of years for survival. Now it seems we have in our grasp where we can harness this incredible power and cheap biological intelligence. Microplastics are everywhere, including in us. The scourge of plastic waste and its impact on the environment has been coming into sharper and sharper focus of late. In particular, scientists have been studying microplastics, tiny pieces of plastic less than 0.2 of an inch or 5 millimeters in diameter, and where they've been discovered, including as far afield as Antarctica. Alarmingly, they've also been found inside of us, after scientists detected them in human blood for the first time. Researchers in the Netherlands took blood samples from 22 anonymous healthy adult donors and analyzed them for particles as small as 0.00002 of an inch. They found that 17 out of the 22 volunteers, that's 77.2%, had microplastics in their blood, a finding described as extremely concerning. Microplastics were also discovered in live human lungs for the first time this year, proving we are breathing them in from the air. Researchers from the University of Hull and Hull York Medical School found microplastics in the deepest section of the lung. This was previously thought to be impossible due to how narrow the airways are. It's unknown what impact microplastics have on the human body, but research in 2023 and beyond is continuing in earnest to find out. New Super Space Telescope's First Images there was much excitement in the summer as NASA's new $10 billion or £7.4 billion space telescope finally sent back its first images of the early universe. Astronomy fans were treated to dazzling, unprecedented images of a stellar nursery, 
dying star cloaked by dust and a cosmic dance between a group of galaxies. Hailed as the dawn of a new era in astronomy, they were taken by James Webb, a successor to the famous Hubble Observatory and released by NASA in July. It put an end to months of waiting and feverish anticipation as people across the globe were treated to the first batch of a treasure trove of images that will culminate in the earliest ever look at the dawn of the universe. Webb's infrared capabilities mean it can see back in time, according to scientists. They believe within a mere 100 to 200 million years of the Big Bang, allowing it to snap pictures of the very first stars to shine in the universe, which they claim was 13.5 billion years ago. Asteroid Deflecting Mission Armageddon and Deep Impact may have been the Hollywood disaster movies, but it turns out that the science behind them might not have been so far-fetched after all. That's because in September, scientists managed to successfully execute the first ever planetary defense test by knocking an asteroid slightly off course. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, mission saw a spacecraft intentionally crash into Dimorphos, the asteroid moonlet in the double asteroid system of Didymus, some 7 million miles or 11 million kilometers from Earth. It was the world's first test of a kinetic impact mitigation technique, using an object to deflect an asteroid that posed no threat to Earth and modifying its orbit. Before the collision, Dimorphos took roughly 11 hours and 55 minutes to circle its bigger partner, Didymus. However, this reduced by 32 minutes to 11 hours and 23 minutes following the impact. The hope is that it could one day work as a strategy for defending our planet against future threats from space, if required. Africa's oldest dinosaur fossil discovered. Back in the summer, dinophiles were treated to the excitement of an extraordinary discovery after paleontologists uncovered the oldest dinosaur ever found in Africa. The creature, dubbed Mberisaurus rati, was around six feet long, weighed anywhere between 20 to 65 pounds, and roamed Zimbabwe, according to them, 230 million years ago. Fossil analysis revealed that it was a species of sauropodomorph, a relative of the sauropod which walked on four legs, had jagged teeth, and a long neck and tail. The skeleton was discovered during two expeditions in 2017 and 2019 to the Zambezi Valley. The discovery of Mberisaurus rati fills in a critical geographic gap in the fossil record of the oldest dinosaurs and shows the power of hypothesis-driven fieldwork for testing predictions about the ancient past, said Dr. Christopher Griffin from the Virginia Tech College of Science. These are Africa's oldest known definitive dinosaurs, roughly equivalent in age to the oldest dinosaurs found anywhere in the world. He continued to say, The oldest known dinosaurs from roughly 230 million years ago, the Carnian stage of the late Triassic period, are extremely rare and have been recovered from only a few places worldwide, mainly northern Argentina, southern Brazil and India. The human genome is finally complete. It took two decades, but in 2022, the human genome was finally mapped in its entirety. In April, researchers published a gap-free sequence of roughly 3 billion bases or letters on a single person's DNA 20 years after the first draft was produced. They said that a complete gap-free sequence of bases in our DNA was critical for understanding human genomic variation and genetic contributions to certain diseases. In addition to the medical implications, a full genome also helps to answer the question of what makes us distinctly human. Some of the genes that were gaps in the original genome are thought to be critically important in helping to make a bigger brain in humans compared to other apes, the researchers suggested. The work was done by the Telomere to Telomere or T2T consortium, which included researchers at the National Human Genome Research Institute or NHGRI, the University of California Santa Cruz or UCSC, and University of Washington Seattle. The newly completed genome, dubbed T2T CHM13, is now accessible through the online UCSC genome browser. Astronomers reveal first ever image of Sagittarius A. In an historic first, astronomers revealed in May how they had captured a remarkable image of a supermassive black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. The eagerly anticipated picture showed Sagittarius A, which is roughly 4.3 million times the mass of our Sun and is located about 27,000 light years away from the Earth. Because of its distance from us, experts say it appears the same size in the sky as a donut on the Moon. It came just over three years after the same astronomers revealed the first ever photograph of a black hole. The two black holes bear striking similarities, despite the fact that Sagittarius A is 2,000 times smaller than Messier 87, which is located in the distant galaxy 55 million light-years away. In a highly anticipated string of press conferences held simultaneously around the world, 
The team behind the Event Horizon Telescope shared their findings after teasing a groundbreaking Milky Way galaxy discovery. While announcing the new image, the University of Arizona's Feriel Ozil called the black hole the gentle giant in the center of our galaxy. Fossil from the day the dinosaurs died. More elation for dinosaur fans. In April, paleontologists revealed that they had unearthed the first ever fossilized remains of a dinosaur that was killed on the day a massive asteroid is believed to have struck the Earth 66 million years ago. The leg of a Thescalosaurus, a small herbivore, was discovered alongside a fragment of the seven-mile-wide space rock that killed it. Experts believe the limb, complete with skin, was lightly ripped off when the Chicxulub asteroid hit and then buried it in fallen debris on the day of impact. The fossilized leg was unearthed alongside a series of remarkable finds at the Tanner's fossil site in the U.S. state of North Dakota, known as the Hell Creek Formation. The site, which was first discovered in 2008, is extraordinary because it appears to record the events from the first minutes until a few hours after the impact of the Chicxulub asteroid in extreme detail. Paleontologists said it was the first discovery of a dinosaur victim from the famous asteroid strike, which left a 93-mile-wide impact crater in what today is the Gulf of Mexico. They also said they believed they'd encountered a tiny fragment from the space rock that ended the era of the dinosaurs and led to the rise of mammals. University of Manchester paleontologist Robert De Palma, who made the discoveries, said they could provide the first ever physical evidence that dinosaurs were killed by an asteroid strike at the end of the Cretaceous period. That was all about the most wonderful scientific discoveries of 2022. Tell us which one you found most intriguing in the comments. We'll be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, have a great time and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.